Sovereign wealth funds. They're made up of money from foreign governments lately. These funds have been riding to the rescue of certain American financial firms who have been caught up in the credit crunch. And they're doing that by infusing a lot of money into some of the biggest bank names like Bear Stearns and Citigroup. Well, now the U.S. government is actually pushing for regulations to keep these funds from having too much say over the companies in which they invest. Do we have anything to fear from these sovereign funds? Our Fox panel back now to talk about it. And uh, Gary Kalbaum, are we worried? Uh, I'm not. Look, I think they're, they're making a bet on us, and it'll uh, turn up being uh, right or wrong going forward. But I don't care whether they're coming from India, Pluto, or whatever. If somebody wants to invest in our uh, companies, I don't care at what price. Let them do it. We invest overseas. Might as well do it both ways. And listen, since we're talking about foreign funds, we might as well bring a foreigner into our mix. <laughs> Axel yeah. Merck joins us now from Merck Inve Investments. Good to see you in person, Axel. Good to We've see We've seen each other over the, uh, over the television. Is there a concern, though, if, in fact, because these are not a bunch of foreign investors. These are government funds. That's why they call them sovereign foreign funds. They are actually related to the governments, which very often have their own political interests in what happens in the state. So shouldn't there be some kind of regulation on them? Well, they have been flying under the radar for many decades. They have only now come to the news because of their very aggressive investments into the banks. Um, we often forget the flip side of things. They're also very politically sensitive issues on their side. They don't want to be in the news. And so when at a point where we need their money, uh, we can argue whether we should have it, but we made wrong decisions. We need their money. And I think it is healthy to have some sort of framework rather than just having politicians shoot across the bow from time to time. So it's also in the interest of those funds to so put some rules in place, and they may have different ideas about those, but it's good to get to the table, negotiate these rules, and come up with something that makes sense so we don't just have uh, investments be blocked off because a politician says, oh my God, we can't have it, and block it from one day Peter to the other. Schiff, do you see any danger in foreign nations, Middle Eastern sovereign funds have come in, infused capital into the banks, although I think with some of the cases Places like Citigroup, they don't have power over the board. But do you see any problems with this type of behavior? Well, the big problem is why do these funds exist in the first place? They resist as a result of our trade deficit and because of foreign central banks' desires to keep our currency from collapsing. So they create these funds, but the, the, the cost is borne by their own citizens who are suffering with the inflationary effects of all the money they printed to buy up all these but dollars. But do you Peter, have the worry of the investment well, here in U.S. Well, firms? Well, That's sure. what I'm asking. Well, well, they're going to own. They're going to own the majority of the Dow, the S&P 500. They're going to buy our assets out from under us. This is what we did. We traded consumption for our companies, for our assets. All right. I, I, by the way, I, I didn't get that memo that, that you apparently got from these sovereign funds. <laughs> but is, should there be some concern about a government involving itself in our financial institutions? A very small amount. I mean, because to a certain degree, it's hypocritical. If you look at the problem we're having right now with investment banks, you know, for us to talk about transparency, it's almost laughable. We still don't know what the heck is going on with all the major investment banks here in America. True. By the same token, we're talking free trade. Yeah, you know, if we want China to take out dollars, then we have to allow them to invest our dollars. Right now, sovereign wealth funds are about three trillion, and I think in about a few years they should be up to about ten trillion. Even then, and, and they couldn't buy up you got all of our seconds, assets. Gary. Uh, Peter. Ten seconds, Gary. And they don't just invest here; they invest around the world. So I don't know where Pete is coming from. How bad it is to be investing in America. Well, they're getting lousy returns on their investments in the United States. Our markets have performed so miserably. why are they doing it if they get lousy returns? They're doing it because they feel they have to to preserve no. our market. They're trying to they, prop up our currency. They're making currency. an investment. They're making a long-term investment. Yes, they, they wish they didn't have these.